getting into the whole screw over factor. John Cena against CM Punk for the WWE Championship. If Punk leaves Chicago with the title, John Cena is fired. There's so many ways you can do this. I, I there's a small piece of me when I watch that rock video, you know, I've watched it like three or four times just trying to listen to it because I, I, I do believe that the rock walked out there with a the script or a teleprompter. Uh, I, I do think that the, uh, the WBF guys or somebody within this company writes his promos. I think he has to. There's no way he just walked out there and cut that on his own. You know, there, there has to be a reason for that promo. Why, why did he go up that day? Why is, it, you know, why is it now when everybody's talking about Punk and Cena? They wanted people to remember The Rock. They want people to remember Mania. Those WrestleMania packages are going on Monday, and I'm sure people that weren't going to buy those packages are buying them now. Uh, because he made a big impact in wrestling by making a promo in his backyard like he's one of us in the YWC. Um, but I don't know. There, there was one thing that caught my mind in there. One thing really, really, you know, he talked about it at the end when he kept on repeating himself over and over again was that he does this for free. Well, not for free. Everybody knows he's getting some sort of kickback. He doesn't need the money. He's got the big house. He's got the pool. He's got this, that, and the other. He's doing all right, as he said. John Cena does this for a paycheck. That lines up into this whole John Cena getting fired thing. Let's say CM Punk does win that title and he walks out. There's always going to be some sort of angle that can get that title back, get CM Punk back. I honestly really think that guy is re-signed. There's a part of me that hopes he didn't re-sign and we see something amazing. Uh, there was one thing on the Ghana podcast where Punk actually did win and take that title and they had to show these sort of YouTube fan cams of John Cena stalking CM Punk as he's working like the indie scene or, you know, around different events. They actually send CM Punk to Japan, let him chase him down. I think WWF would be all right, you know, not having that title. And I'm sure New Japan or any other company out there would love to have CM Punk, the WWF Championship, and John Cena show up on their show just to create buzz. Plus, they're going to show it on Raw. I think that that would be amazing. Anybody, you know, who doesn't, you know, think that's, you know, possible, you know, go back to ECW when you had Taz beat a WCW superstar for the ECW championship. You had all three companies in one ring for one match. And that was an extreme situation because, you know, sort of Mike Awesome, who was the champion, didn't give his days, just sort of dicked out and signed a WCW title. Anybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about, either message me or, or look it up, Mike Awesome versus Taz, w, uh, I'm sorry, ECW Championship. Then you actually, after that, on SmackDown that week, you had Taz show up, a WWE, WWE wrestler show up with the ECW Championship on SmackDown with ECW superstar Tommy Dreamer to face uh, Triple H for the title. So th this crazy crap has happened before. So I don't know. I think if Cena gets fired, uh, he'd be able to come back and do this stuff for free because that's how much he cared about the WWE, the WWE fans. Um, all that, that's just, that's one crazy thing. Maybe I should have made my own video about that because I just ranted about it for a couple minutes in my prediction video, but I don't know. I, I really don't know. There's so many different things that go through my mind about this, but I'm going to pick CM Punk to win it because CM Punk's the man right now and, uh, there's so many different ways they can go with it. Uh, so thank you very much for everybody watching my video, my prediction video. Let me know uh, if you send over video responses, I will accept them, send over some comments and, um, it's going to be great.